Hey art friends, I am going to review with you what we are going to do to add to our jungle animal artwork. We had looked at artwork of Henri Rousseau and his jungles that he created by studying plants at the botanical gardens. We looked at Mary Blair's artwork where she has more of a cartoon style and it almost looks like collage um, in her technique of how she painted and her jungle animals and plants. And we also got to look at Stephanie Stouffer, who is a current artist that lives in Vermont. She did a lot of work with the Hallmark Company, and that's the company that makes a lot of greeting cards. And again, she has her animals, and then she has these bright flowers and plants and she uses a lot of simpler shapes and patterns to create her plants and um, go from her animals. So we already created our artwork. We created our animal of your choice. You should have colored it in fully so that it is colored all the way to the edges of your paper. You could have made a background or you could have created a simple color to fill it in because what we are doing next is we are going to use collage to add some of those plants and flowers to our artwork. So we are going to be cutting and gluing paper to create some leaves and some plants on top of our artwork. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that for you on one of my own art pieces. Remember, we're going to cut our leaf shapes and our flower shapes, and they can be more simple shapes. And if you wanna try, you can create your own by studying different plants that might live in a jungle. And it's okay that we're not in a jungle because we're gonna be just like Henri Rousseau and kind of make it up as we go along. So I'm gonna switch over my camera so you can see my artwork and I will guide you through how we can add our collage features to our animal artwork. Okay, so I wanted to show you an example of an artwork that I had been working on. I sketched it, I traced it, I colored it, I even layered some of my colors together so I could get a really nice blend for like the cheeks of the giraffe. And my next step would be to add those features of the plants around the edges using collage. If I show you one that I've already finished, Here is my hippopotamus. And I used simple shapes for my leaves. All right, some of them only give like the illusion of a leaf. They're kind of sort of like a leaf. You can layer on top different colors to create details in your leaves. You could draw on top of it to create some of those veins inside the leaves and creating some different colors on top to add to create some flowers. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how I'm going to do that on my sloth piece, which I just finished. So when you are creating and you are going to be cutting your paper, remember we only need to fill around the edges and we don't want to cover up the most important details of our artwork. When you're creating on your paper, you could draw individual leaves and individual vines, but one thing that I find is a little bit easier is for example, if I fold it over and I draw my one leaf, if I leave it folded and I cut with it folded, then I could have two leaves cut much quicker than if I cut them all individually. You don't have to cut exactly perfect shapes. You could make it up as you go along. Making sure though that your scissors always point away from you. Making sure that you're turning your paper, not your scissors. All right. And if I wanted to make like a vine shape, I could come around and keep going around and around and around and around and around. And it makes it like a spiral. So you will get to pick how you are going to cut your different shapes 
to add your plants and your flowers to your work. Remember, we just need to fill, realize its face was covered, fill around the edges. All right, we're not filling our whole work because we don't want to cover our beautiful animal drawing that we just finished. So I could add maybe some vines. All right, and I'm going to experiment with laying these out first before I glue them down. So I could add some leaves towards my edges. And remember, I said we could add more than one color, or maybe you want to layer some parts on top of each other. We could have big ones, and we could have small ones. And if you don't have colored paper at home, you can always um, color white paper um, by painting or coloring on it to get a different effect. So I'm just going to kind of lay some of these out here so we could see some what it might look like if we layered some different pieces, if we added some leaves around the edges. All right, remember our leaves can be on top of each other. They could go off your page a little bit if you need to. You could always trim it so they fit on the page or you can um, just leave it hanging off and having it a little bit more dimensional. I like how it looks when I have more than one color on my leaves, but another way to do that would be to just draw it on our leaves. And then we can not only add some of our greenery, but maybe add some flowers as well. And remember, I'm going kind of more around the outside of my piece, not covering all of the middle because I don't want to lose my details of my sloth that I took so much time to make sure I was doing a beautiful job on. All right, and once I have everything how I like it, then I can use my glue and I can start gluing it together. And when you're all set, you can let your artwork dry and you'll have your beautiful theme, jungle artwork, incorporating some artwork from Mary Blair, Stephanie Stouffer, and Henri Rousseau. And the most important artist of this project is you. I can't wait to see what your artwork looks like. And I feel like we're going to be in a jungle with all of these wild plants and animals.